recap what's happening. Um, by the end of today, tonight, you'll have a UV map of your character. You're either your self-portrait or your monster, not both. I want to make that clear. Not both. One or the other. I'm demoing both. You'll have it started in Photoshop. You'll start coloring, and I'll show you how to attach it to the model and how they talk. That's kind of review from 420, but we'll, we'll go over it again. I'm not going to touch on bump and spec maps until the 16th. So what I want is what's due on the 16th is to have a work in progress posted. And I'll talk about that. So nothing serious. And then the final version of the head is due in two weeks with color, with bump and spec. And we'll talk about that. All right. Question. Yes. Well, this will probably be answered later on. But how would you handle coloring a UV map when the character has scars at certain points? That's, that's what we're going to do. That's the class. Uh, part of it's going to be selection in Photoshop. Part of it's going to be bump maps. We're going to have some fun. All right. So here's what I want you to do. Jamar, you ready? All right. Um, I wanted to get... You're, I'm actually going to start with the default head because I already, I had a head that's not opening. I am really sorry. So I'm going to do this. Let me make a new scene. Save. And let me do here. All right. New scene. Boop. Okay. Just do this real quick. Boop. 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 Sure. Get those go inward a little bit more. Why is my control button working? Oh well. All right, and then I'll just do a knife. Oh, why can't I reset? Invert function. Good. And let's go invert function. I was, no, I went back to control, and then that's the knife. All right. Okay. Our self-portrait has holes. Our mud box probably doesn't. Agree or disagree? Our mud box, our, our, our self-portrait, as instructed, I gave you holes to put a thing, and I gave you a mouth opening, right? Uh, and then maybe you had nostrils deleted or maybe you had a nostril pushed in, either way. Um, that one I'm not as concerned about. However, this is a really, I hope your monster face is better than this. Um, I just want to demonstrate something here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, ship. I want to talk about two things today. I want to get your mud box into Maya. I want to review that and then I want to talk about deleting and rounding these out. So we're going to take some time and play with our models in Maya for a second. Uh, and then I also, before I, I let you guys work for a little bit on this part, I also want to talk about like, maybe you want to do your self portrait, but you're like a little concerned about this part of this part. I want to just kind of briefly talk about shipping something into Maya. Um, what I see a lot of people do is they will hop between the two um, depending on what they're doing and what they need done, they're kind of meant to work interchangeably. So um, the, the send to Maya and send a, so to Mudbox features are there for a reason. So it's okay. like you were asking earlier, Ben, to kind of hop between, can I go to Maya and do this part? And like, the answer is yes, right? Um, Mudbox isn't good about deleting stuff. Mudbox isn't good with certain tricks um, that you know how to do in Maya and you can switch over, all right? Um, so I'm gonna show both. So let's get this guy into a Maya scene. So I'm just gonna make a blank scene in Maya. It helps if both of them are open, which I know will start eating up your RAM. Uh, I'm going to select him, and I'm gonna ship him into Maya. So I'm gonna go to File, Send to Maya, Select as a new scene. Ah. Sure, select as a new scene. Doop. First thing you're going to notice is the scale is way different in Maya and in Mudbox. And so it's totally fine to shrink down so it works here. 
I'm going to show you a problem that happens when you go the opposite way, and that's about with the tools. But what you're going to want to do is, if you finish your mud box, when you finish your monster face, which should be now, you can, if you'd like, delete the bust portion, right? So you can do a couple things here. You can go through and shift, double click this edge loop here, delete, go to object mode, mesh separate, and I can just delete, right? Now I just got the head. The other thing you're going to want to have, it'll be easier for you to UV map. It'll be easier for you to do facial expressions later is you can feel free to delete, make some eye holes, right? Now, you'll notice these aren't nice and circular like the ones we modeled. So you probably want to do, oops, I'm going to turn on symmetry. Do you all know about object X symmetry in Maya? Right? So if you go to object X in symmetry, you can click that and delete these guys. How many do I want to delete? Let's do and then uh, you probably don't want square eyeballs so you might need to remodel those a little bit, right? Maybe use soft selection and kind of touch up those spaces until they're a little rounder. And soft selection works now that, now that we're more familiar with Mudbox, soft selection works like the brush tool. And I, if I hit B and I hold, my, hold down the B and I get my left select tool, I can kind of round out those parts. All right. And then down here, face. And then once again, shape this out. So you need some, so if you were just finishing up your model, if you weren't sure what to do with your model, um, this is something you can do. Oops, that's too far, I wanted to. There you go, All right? Something like that. Oops, I missed a face. All right. I am guessing 90% of you are going from Mudbox. 90% of you are going to be working with your monster heads. Raise your hand if you are going to be UV mapping your self portrait. Excellent. Reagan? Perfect. Yeah. Um, you, you, so these steps you don't have to do. What I'm about to demonstrate, so if you want to just kind of ship your model in, um, you can do that. I'm going to show you situationals. I'm going to start with Reagan and give her a few conditional things. And then some of you might run into problems with Mudbox and Maya talking to each other. You're on your own system. Um, my system at home doesn't talk well to each other, right? Um, different ver versions, different variations. So let me, let me just save this. Let me call this uh, simple UV demo monster thingy should do that Boop. um so let me get back to this one all right so reagan and anyone else that wants to care or notice this none of this is required so jamar is playing video games can tune me out for a second but it's good to know so you might not want to tune me out ben asked this at one point I got these wrinkly spots here. I don't like that. Can I smooth those out? My nose, can I do, can I do more? Yes. So if you're actually digging the Mudbox tools, you can ship this over. In Mudbox, you can't do what we did where you're tracing, right? You'd have to sculpt. So there's, there's benefits for both. But if I go to here and I hit File, and I send it to Mudbox, I'm going to send it as a new scene. Don't save that guy. Um, I might run into this rut row, right? I might have a problem here. And it's going to say, you got some problems with the mesh. Okay. These are all displaying a few things. This is another three weeks of lecture. Ah, another two weeks of lecture. This is, this is a whole other process, which I don't want to get into. Right? 
some of you, so Reagan, you might not need to do the steps I'm about to do. It might just be mesh, retopologize, and go. But it might not. There's reasons for what are causing these errors that I really don't want to get into. But to show you another way of fixing this, instead of going back there and trying to trace the, the problem areas and try to refix it, you could cut your quads here into triangles, which is what game engines often do, is they, they switch quads into tries. So, Reagan, if it's not working in Maya, in, excuse me, in Mudbox, but it's working well in Maya and you don't need to touch it, if you don't want to send it to Mudbox, you don't have to do this. But if I, I just want to talk about it and, and show you some tricks and tri tricks of the trade, right? I can triangulate it, and now everything's been made into triangles. It's no longer quads. It's tries. And now I can export it, file export selection as an OBJ, go to my desktop, call it triangular face man, and now, oops, you know, go in here. Now Mudbox, oh, it still's got a little bit of a problem. Go to select it. And now if I hit mesh, retopologize new operation, I'm gonna ignore that error, you will actually get a product. So give me a second. And then the topology thing takes a while, but it's actually working. It's actually doing its thing. Again, you don't have to do it. I'm just trying to show ways of how you can fix things and work on your projects, right? Boop. Come on. Come on. So close. This is in the video as well. Oh, all right. And what it did was it, it had two. Oh, the same exact problem happened. Perfect. So if I move it, I actually, it, it looks like there's an error, but there's not. There's actually a nice requaded version of my face here. And I can just delete this guy. And so now I could go to my sculpting tools. I don't know why you're stuck on there. Hit, oop, that's really strong. Oh. Yes. One more thing before I get going. Go back to my slide. Maya imported this very small. So if you do import from Maya, scale it up because the tools, the sculpting tools work much better at a larger scale. How big? About that big. Translate. So you have to hit the button to move, translate, rotate. But now if I go to sculpting tools, I can now kind of go in here give myself a little more pinch on my nose right oops undo all right kind of and then shift for smooth beat him right and just just like that i've just now resculpted a better nose already with one swoop right if i wanted to give myself the sculpt in here make a brush make this that uh i forget what this is called someone knows what this is called thank you Right, and then shift for smooth. Oops, that one's, that sucked. Let me get that bigger. That was a horrible, I did a much better job on my video. Push that in. Oh, it's because I'm on sculpting. <laughs> that wasn't on Right, there. Um, so I'm already making it better with Mudbox, with the tools that I'm getting familiar with. Ooh. Um, so. So that can go, can go from something like this to something like where's my to this, which is a, which is an improvement. The nose is better. I've gotten rid of the wrinkles in the back of my head. Um, I gave myself a little bit more of a lip. I gave my ears a little more detail. I took out that weird thing that was happening with my eyes. I gave myself more of a brow. So you, you can touch up on it. So here's what I want you to do. What are we doing right now? First thing I want you to do 
is either ship your mud box sculpture into Maya. Um, if you have a lot of subdivisions, if you took this up to like five or six, you definitely want to step down. You definitely want to delete at the highest level and maybe even delete one more. So you getting it down to four is, is a nice, good amount. This is about, if you have, this is the most amount of uh, polygons you want. If you can get less, go for it. You can also, one more thing, Ben, is if you get into here like this and it's looking pretty good, you could also go to mesh and you could also, oh, there's no, oh, the 24 version. I'm going to check that. Let me check that right in one moment. I believe in the 2024 version, there is an unsmooth right here. Shoop. You say unsmooth, and you can actually reduce all those quads. So you can, and let me see if I can type in negative. What happens if I type in negative one? Nope, won't let me. All right, so you, you in the next level, you can unsmooth. You can do it here with, with subdivisions. Um, you might need to rebuild a subdivision level, right? And then you can bring it down. So you got a page up and a page down. This will be sculpting a little. So you're going to use a lot of soft selection to make facial expressions, but this is manageable, but it's a lot of work. If you can get something a little less, where's my Ahsoka? And I'm going to be demoing both. That's a little... That's not the right, oh yeah, that's right, I lost my, um, and this is a little light, right? That's, this is, this is probably a good amount. This is still a good amount, it's just a lot, but it still works. If it gets even more glowy green than that, you're going to have a bad time. So that, that's the level you're going for. Oh man, 2024, it's got, so if you have 2024 on your laptop, under mesh, there's a unsmooth right there. It's quite convenient. All right. So send it one way or the other. Ben. Yeah. So I, as you know, I was at subdivision four, and this is quite a lot. Not so bad. You said there was an unsmooth thing to help? You can just work with it then in my I'm sorry. Did you have a better sub D? I I rated it up uh, three and then the one I That looks better than the one you turned into me. Okay. Yes. Because that one I can see the face. Okay. The other one looks like a mesh. Three times trying to get through my own.
Let's do a let's do a mesh. Let's delete the highest mesh. Oh, let's do a save as. Let's do a save as. Uh -huh. File save. Wait, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. File save first. Because we like this copy. And then file save as. And say mesh down or less. Or less polygon or lower. There you go. And. Save it to your desktop because it's in my box folder. downloads. If you wanted to play left that one and turn that in for your for your monster face, that would be good. And then you can delete it for right now. And then go to your downloads folder.
Yugi map this? <laughs> That's gonna be great. It's, it's, oh. Our Yugi mapping is gonna be, I don't want to say, you're, you're gonna be, it's, it's not like your character Yugi map. Oh. We just watch it. Yeah. Right. Did you get yours in with less? Or you have, have food yours in mind? Yeah. yeah? Not too crazy? Not too dense? Can we do one less level? Let's we'll see. Yeah. Uh, go back to my box. I'm, you're, you'll thank me later. <laughs> click, click on it. Is it off? I'm going to go to mesh and try doing delete highest level. Delete highest level. Good. Um, try one more. Oh, no, that's pretty big. Let's try one more. Oh, shit. Oh, do save as. Do a file save as. That way you don't like destroy your project. There you go. Oh, that's too much. Undo. Undo. All right. So try it out. Now go to export. Or send to my. Was sending to my work. Okay. So export. I'm glad I covered OBJ. Or you can do FBX. Was FBX working or OBJ? And then call it like less poly or something. Good. And now, you see, drag it in. You can what? Yeah. It's right. Um, if, 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 if the more, you say like the more squares, like it, it has the, the more background. That's on. fine. The, the ones I'm looking at are. are Cube, 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 cube that amount of. That's fine. Okay. Is that less? Is that, oh, yeah, that's manageable. Yes. That. That's what you want. Okay. Good. Good. One, two, three, four. We're good. Does it have it? Have it. Yes. Yes. That looks great. Yes. Right. That looks wonderful. All right. I'm just going to ask if the inside looks a bit janky. Inside? That's fine. Because you're going to see eyeballs in there. That's fine. We're not going to see that part. We're not going to see that part. You're just going to ignore that on the easy map. Okay. Sarah. Yes. Ivan. John. Riley. Riley, that's in my right. And Chris is still modeling. Reagan and Ben. Do a save as. You are ready. If I didn't call your name, you're still modeling on your, your thing. So there's a, is it okay if the mouth looks a bit jaggy? Yeah, okay. Espe especially on the inside. Okay. So some of you don't like UV mapping. The UV map for the face is much less complicated than the UV map for the body. All right. Um, so this is our end game. I did this this morning, right? So we're going to get to something like that. Can you guys see that? All right. Um, these are the ears. I did a good job on this one and I rushed that one. My head is slightly asymmetrical, so my object wasn't doing it. Um, so this is going against a few rules with what you've been told in 420, where it's like, be efficient with the space. If you look at this model that does have the bust section, that's like the lower neck, that's where this stuff would go. But since we deleted the neck, we don't need that space. But what you wanna do when you see most UV maps is they're always oriented this way. They're always oriented, just chin's always at the bottom, forehead's at the top, ears are left and right. You're not twisting it to maximize its value because if you did that, then it'd be really hard in Photoshop to, to kind of, you just want to work with yourself in Photoshop, right? Um, the Ahsoka head that I did, uh, this one, right? Same thing, but this time I have a face. So one of the decisions you're going to need to make is, do I want to have my UV map be one giant piece like this? Or 
is mine more so of a place where I need to cut stuff off? For example, Ben's Frankenstein head has a very clear, distinct line of what his head is. So Ben could make a UV map, a UV shell just for Frankenstein's hair and then make a separate one for his face. Um, I'm always going to recommend um, separating out the, the ears. Question. Okay. Well, what was it? Yeah, one sec. Because you're going to see sometimes that they, they, some UV maps, let's just see, character UV map head. Sometimes, there's the one I was using. Um, you see them push together, and I really don't like this. When they get squished like that, it gets really hard to add the detail. Um, it gets really hard to manage. So um, oftentimes you see them cut out and carved out. Uh, this is a slight, again, that's the neck. Since we don't have the neck, it's not going to fill the whole space. Uh, I'm just trying to show you other pieces. I don't like it. Yeah, getting it carved out, that's the better way. Okay. Question, Ben. So what about if your character has certain things on his face, like scars or like metal or stain? Let, let's get the UV shell first, right? Um, that's still going to be part of the UV map. That's going to be where you do some bump mapping, right? Um, let's see what I, yes, save. What am I saving? All right. Okay. Step one. Let's see. Every, those that have finished the model, you've got it in Maya. Reagan, you got yours in Maya? Yeah. All right. Let's do a save as. Command shift S. And call it UV start. Make sure I didn't cover it. Did I miss something? Meant to worry uh, cleaning up between both, going back and forth. Yeah, we're good. All right. UV mapping time. So that's in the wrong order. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Layers and just Oh, that was. What did I do? I don't know what that is. Okay, sorry. Here we go. I've done a save as. Does anyone remember how to get to the to the Maya? How to how to get to UV mapping? Yeah, you Megan. Really want to show us, don't you? Huh? Where? No, well, you could go there. You could go there. Windows. There, do you know what? Do you know what I don't use? I never use these. Is there one in here? UV editing. Oh, look at that. My way. Do you know what? In the video, I forgot when they, at some point, it's actually not new, but it was not there when I started. So it's always a new concept for me. Um, I always go. Let me go back to general here. I always go to panel, layout, saved layouts, persp UV editor. That's where I always go. I use this panel quite a bit. I think that's actually something on the syllabus I'm supposed to talk about at some point, which I will. Um, but save layouts where? And save layouts, and it's the only one with UV. It's the only one with UV. Or Windows Workspaces UV Editor. It's the only one with UV under Workspaces too. Both will get to the same spot. Show, do, 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 do. panel, save layouts, purse UV Editor. Perfect. All right. Does anyone? Remember what the next step is to get UV shells happening? Not Maggie? Ben, do you remember how to get UV shells? I can select the UV shells here, sure. But how do I get to create them? Huh. Create. So you guys were probably did this with, with Mart 420, right? With the beginning class. You went to create and hit automatic. And then you had to piece all these together. I think we did cut and sew. You eventually got to cut and sew. Yeah, yeah. You start off with that though, right? 
Um, so here's what we're going to do. Select your character as an object. Select your head as an object, not your character. Right? You're going to go to Create, Planar Mapping, Options. I lost my slide. I made a nice, wonderful slide. Technology is against oh, it's right here. I just didn't change the title. I just didn't change the title. So sorry. Uh, I just forgot that. Uh, Maya UV mapping. So sorry. I was like, I wrote this down. Plop that up there. So sorry. Is that what I want? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. There we go. All right, so we've made our layout. We've done a create UV. And now we want to go to create planar options. Create, create planar options. And we are projecting from, anyone? Bueller? X, Y, or Z? One out of three chance. Riley, one out of three chance. X, Y, or Z? What are we, what are we projecting from? Oh, why would be this way? So Z is this way. Coming right at it. Good guess. So I'm going to hit project. And you can kind of see my face right here. It's kind of right there. However, I have UVs on top of UVs and it's not completely unfolded, right? So here's where, you, here's where you gotta do. We are going to cut it. And you're gonna cut it, so since this is my UV map, somewhere here on the hairline. And you gotta cut it like right in the middle. It's better to have it right in the middle. Going back to that example picture, right? This one, right? You can actually see it right here. Because when you have a cut, you develop a seam. And you'll see it when we start adding color to it later. So you want the seam to be in a spot no one's really going to care about, like right after the hairline. Right, right here, once your hair starts growing, no one cares about it. So wherever your hairline is for your self-portrait, or if you have a monster. Now, if you have Frankenstein, sit tight. If you, have, if you want to do something more like, excuse me, like this example with, with, with Ahsoka, sit tight. That's going to be a slightly different division. You're going to be cutting along a different line. You can start that right now if you wanted to. So if I was doing Frankenstein, I would be selecting these edges like this. But since it's me, I'm going to do edges like this. All right. I'm going to do both, though. What about Dogman? Does, does Dogman have a bare face and then furry top? Uh, yeah. Then I would, I would do face. I, I would do the Ahsoka version, which I'll do in a second. I'm doing this one because it's easier. Now, because we have such a large mesh, because our mesh is so intense, right? It's kind of tough. It's it's going to be tough to find the midpoint. But we have a trick. We have symmetry selection object X. Symmetry selection object X. And I'm going to go to edge mode here. And you can see that though there's one part where it won't have a midpoint. So I'm going to pick, let's see, here's my forehead, right there, boop. And then I'm going to go down to the back over here. And I'm going to hold shift right when I get to that middle edge, get in there. Double click. And I'm going to cut. I'm going to go up here to choose cut and cut. Hotkey, shift X. But cut, just remember it's uncut and so cut, boom. I know I've done it because I have a white line. And then, so we're only going to be using, I believe, three menu features here. We're going to use, um, 
Yeah, we're gonna use cut, unfold, and flip. And you might not even need to use flip. So now that I have it cut here, when I hit unfold, modify, unfold, down here at the very, 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 very bottom, I now have a completely unwrapped, and now I'm gonna right click, go to UV shell, and I have a completely unwrapped Why are you snapping? Nope. Something's on snap. Reset. Reset. Ah, step snap. Someone turned on step snap. Someone was doing something fancy. Something like that. To answer your question, it looks like I have a jagged edge here too, Ben. My mouth is a little asymmetrical. All right, yeah, go back. It makes you look like you're growing. All right. <laughs> um, now, like I showed you in some of those examples, some people leave the ears in there, um, but we can do better, right? So the one thing that might take a while is selecting the right edges for um, your ear. But what you want to do is basically pick the edges where where it's the face and the and the ear touching together. So I'm going to I'm going to start there. And if it's done in um, the shift double click trick won't work. So you're gonna you're, this is where I'm gonna let you guys kind of have at it for a little bit. The shift double click trick won't work. Won't make you this nice little circle. So you're gonna have to kind of just plug through it and make the best circle. You're gonna have a few jagged points, like back here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna cut across like two. I'm gonna go bump, bump, and I just want to make an entire line. And if I don't cut it, <laughs> if the line I make doesn't cut it, get it? Double meaning. Um, what I can do is. Um, It'll show me with the white lines what I didn't connect. And I want to get as much face as I can. So this you're going to take a moment right now in class to do this. And then let's do object X. So notice my something in my modeling made them asymmetrical. So I'm going to hit cut. And if I right click UV shell, oops, let me turn off object X. This ear is now completely detached, the UV shell of the ear. And I can go to modify, unfold, and I have a lot more detail on there there that I'd rather have, right? And I, I can see the front. And then over here, oh, oh my goodness. This is, this is why we need to make sure we have a low poly count, right? Anything more and there would be even slower. So I can actually cut it. I don't even have to look at my ear. I could go to edge mode here and just kind of, well, I know I got to connect that one. One, two, and I can hit cut or I can just shift select everything. I'm going to do this one here. And then just kind of cut these in. I'm guessing a little bit here, right? That one went too far out. So I want to, so I can see where I was guessing and that was not the right guess. So I'm gonna go in here. Uh, uh, come on, oh, grab the wrong one again. I can dislike these guys. It's not called advanced modeling for nothing. And let's just, Jag that out. Oh, I don't like that. Anyway, whoop, and we're gonna hit cut, cut, shell. Oops. Oop. Is there still something not click? It's still not cutting it. Oh, I missed one little edge right there. You guys see that one? Cut. Shift X. UV shell. There. Um. Usually when you do this and you unfold, it unfolds a little bit better. Oh 
my goodness. Question. Unfold? Yes. So, I can understand it for certain cases, but since the ear will be generally the same color as the face, what's the point in separating them from the face? So, because of the monster, sometimes the ears get... Some... Couple reasons. Sometimes... People don't model the ears so well, and you want to paint some ear details in there, right? So that gets really hard when it gets disconnected. Sometimes with your monsters, you want them to be very, very different. So you could leave them in there. I just find that I... So in the case of Frankenstein, would you say it's okay to leave it in there? If you want to leave it in there, go for it. It's going to be like green or gray skin. Yeah. Go for it. All right. Um, one more quick demo with Ahsoka. And Ahsoka will be faster because uh, let's see. Um, she has less geometry. No, no, it's not just going along the hairline. All right. So once again, I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to call it UV starting. And I hit save as. All right. And then now with her, I'm going to, once again, panels, save layouts. I'll repeat, right? UV editor. Boop. I'm going to go here. I'm going to pick this edge set here. Oh, I, oh, she's already got cut. All right, let me let me reset that. This is me practicing earlier. Uh, let me go to, excuse me, create planar map. There. Uh, remember, you hit create planar map options. Make sure you choose Z. Hit apply. And now we got to cut this up. So my shift double click trick worked to right here. And then it got me that circle there. And maybe I don't want to do that line. I'm going to go straight to the neck, the neck hole. So maybe I'm going to go down. I do one more. That got me here to here. Do symmetry. To X, do I cut? And then I cut. Once again, cut and sew, cut. Cool. I have a face, right? I can unfold both of these. This is what you just saw. I can unfold both of those, and I'll have a decent UV map. Go back to this one, modify and fold. So there's not much to actually making the UV map for the face. The work is going to be in the Photoshop, right? Let me just show you a few more tricks in case you have a complicated thing. This is like for John. This is for Sarah, um, Ivan. If you got something even more complicated and you want something to mention. So um, if you know Ahsoka, she's got blue stripes, right? Going all the way down it might be easier for me to reference if these tubes and her horns kind of get split, right? Because it'll be easier for me to just do a straight line. Agree or disagree, right? So this would be actually really hard to paint in Photoshop. So that's the other thing you guys, you haven't done this yet. You've only painted one UV map, I'm assuming, in your career so far. So this is something you got to think about. It's like when you're making your UV shells, what's going to be easier for me to do in Photoshop, right? And so what I want to do here is I want to make a few cuts that are going to be really... So right here. Oh, I don't get the whole ring. What if I do there? Do I get the whole ring? Nope. I'm going to finish that ring to here, 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 here. So I got two rings right there. And I'm gonna choose cut. Now, if I unfold these, and Ben, this might be better suited for your question. Uh, if I unfold those, they're gonna stay like tubes. What I wanna do is I wanna unwrap them. When I unwrap them, I have a potential for a seam. And you'll see a seam in a second. So, has anyone done hard surface modeling? class no there's a that they, they talk about seams in that class a lot um so i'm probably not going to see the undersides of these tubes too much 
So I'm going to drag from here, I'm going to go up that line to here and cut it one more time. Cut. And now when I hit UV shell and I hit modify unfold, now that's an easy straight line. Right? Now I can just paint straight across and it'll wrap around. There won't be a guesswork. I won't have to draw a circle. Okay? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's going to make more sense when we get into Photoshop. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with these horns. So, Sarah, with your character's ears, right? You might want to do what I'm doing here, where I'm just going to grab the edges, cut them, figure out a way to flay them. Basically, right? And I'm going to cut them along this loop. How do you make that uh, edge selection exactly? This little quick trick? Yeah. If I, if I have one edge loop and I double click it, it'll do the whole edge ring throughout the entire model. So right, right. if I do it like right here, I get the ring. It's really easy. If I hold shift, so if I hold the shift key, let, let's do, let's do one over here so you can see it better. Uh, if I do one over here and hold the shift to that one, it'll connect the dots. So if I go from here, shift, double click, it does that set of edges, right? It, it makes more sense with faces sometimes. Face, click a face, click that face, hold the shift key. Do, oh, didn't, why didn't you work? Oh, is it because of symmetry? Off. So if we go one face, shift, double click, there, I get the row. That should have worked with symmetry. Oh, it's because of these dots. You gotta be right on the dot with those dots. So it's a, it's a quite handy trick, right? Okay, so one more thing. I wanna cut these horns on the top. Boop. Do I wanna do it one more? I'll do it one more. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go here. Nope, 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 nope. Here, come on, that one. Boop, boop, boop. Boop there, because that in that nice little corner. Yeah, yes. All right, I'm gonna hit cut. I'm gonna go to my shells, and I'm gonna go to mo modify unfold. Oops, I forgot to give him a scene. Let me get him out of here. So the other part, I'm probably I'm probably not gonna see too much of the back of her head. So I can go along probably this edge right here. Cut it one more time. UV shell, modify, unfold. And all I'm doing here is I'm making it easier for me to, if I just draw a straight line, I might wanna cut this one more. Cut it, and let's get one more edge. One, yeah, cut. So you can, you can keep cutting and you can keep unfolding just like what I did there. There, that's going to be a little easier to paint. All right. Let's do one thing, modify, unfold. Yeah. All right. One more, one more thing here. So let me hit save. Let me just remind you. A lot of your UV maps a very complex geometry are going to look something like this. Ooh. Excuse me. Right? I'm getting I'm getting a little fancy with Ahsoka. But there's some people with a lot of complexity in their monsters. So I wanted to make sure turn that off. There you go. There you go. So um, once you have them cut, I'm going to stop talking in two minutes. Once you have them cut, remember your goal is to have them on this box here. The UV map that you're going to make that we're going to use in Photoshop is this box right here. So I'm going to scale this down. And I know this goes against your training. I know you were trained last time in the other class to be very efficient with this quad, with this box. If we had a little bit more to work with, we would, but it's more important. Understanding where your model is and understanding 
making your life easier in Photoshop is going to be is going to be more important than maximizing your space for this assignment. This is all I need. That is all I need for my head for my head UV shell. That's what's due at the end of class today. So I'm going to right click object mode. I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to UV snapshot and everyone forgets the browse. Everyone forgot always forgets to hit browse. Go to browse, go to your desktop and you're going to call it ADV for advanced. You're going to call it head head UV snap underscore last name. Make oh, and make sure it is a JPEG. I like JPEGs. Is Paul telling you to do PNGs? I'm look Either or. I'm going to just do it. There's going to be a company that wants you to do Targas. Like I've downloaded and used rigs that have Targa. I've had them that have TIFF. I've had pings. Whatever you want to do. Um, JPEG, just for universality, JPEG's fine for me. 2048 is good. If you want to be extra and have, if you have confidence that your rig can handle it and your computer can handle it, you can do 4096. You can do 4K. 4096. That's going to be a big boy, right? That's going to be a big file. Uh, 2048 is fine, but if you wanted to be 4K, just because it's the head and you can add some more detail, you could do that too. I'm going to hit apply and close. And that is what you're going to turn into Canvas. Then we're going to open that up and we're going to turn we're going to do that. Let me go back to Ahsoka now. I'm going to repeat what I'm doing, but with with Ahsoka. If you have more pieces, save. If you have more pieces like this one, the priority is going to be the face, right? So I'm going to put the face here. About a fourth of the of the box is pretty good. Let's keep it like that. Okay. Now we can be very efficient here with these things here. Is this the same as this? Class. Yes. Is that the same as that? We can stack them. Oh, why doesn't it stack? If I rotate it. Are they still exactly the same? No. Who said that? Okay. Why aren't they the same, Ben? One is flipped. In it's the flipped. Direction. Good answer. So last last menu item we're going to use here, modify flip. You can do, I could have flipped it first and switched this to vertical, but since I rotated it, I can just flip it horizontal, hit apply. And now they can stack. You gotta make sure they're perfect too. Perfect-ish. Get right there. Um, supposedly, I mean, there are there are, is here that the snap and stack uh, kind of works. Um, you could um, also one of these does uh, UV by UV. If you do snap together, you can then move each UV, and they'll they'll become magnetic but we ain't got that kind of time. So we're just going to take both of them, pull them down and just get them as close as we can. You're recording, right? Yep. And this has all been done on a demo video already posted on the thing. Boop. There we go. I'm going to flip this one vertically, modify flip just to do, just to show you both. Give that a little rotation. Get that lined up, and now I got those two. Let's see, and I want to make sure that this is the, the top. So I'm going to—that's the top part of my UV map. So I'm going to grab here, I'm going to rotate that, and then where's my quadrant? Jamar's playing games. I can tell by his laugh. Oop. This guy's going to go. Ah, let's put them up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Take this guy, put him up here, a little smaller. All right. Now, I want you to be—I want you to use your brains for a second. Can I make this this piece more efficient? Cool.
Could I? How? This, this is where I want you to start thinking and using your nugget. Well, I suppose you could make a seam line around where the bottom uh, tube thing is. What if I cut it in half, unfold it, and then stack it? It's symmetrical, right? This thing's symmetrical, right? Her patterns, it actually might be beneficial, right? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to grab these edges. There you go. I'm going to cut those. Cut. UV shell. I'm going to unfold both. Unfold. Woo. And now I got to flip one of these. Modify. Flip. Am I in vertical? Yes. Apply. Yes. And now I have these. And since I know that she's going to... So everyone's going to have a slightly different answer. This is, this is the cool part and the annoying part about teaching 3D modeling and animation. Because Ben's situation is different than Sarah's situation, which is different than John's situation, which is different than Ivan's situation. So I'm trying to show you a, a lot of different scenarios. Um, but the idea is, is that you want to be efficient with your space here in ways that you can organize it. Let's see, I want to go that way. I'm going to flip both of them one more time. Yeah. I'm going to put this at the top. Shrink it. I'm gonna go like that. I'm just trying to get down there. I'll make these. I'll make these a little smaller. These are just lines. Um, and remember, we're gonna be using these for not just color, but for texture as well. So, being really organized with your UV system here. Okay, that. Last step when we're done. Once again, it's gonna be image, UV snapshot. I got all my settings here. This time I'm gonna call it, uh, this one, instead of head, I'm gonna call it monster. And we hit apply. Make sure you, if you don't have this selected in object mode, your UV map won't be sent out. Apply and close. And again, that's what you're going to turn in. All right. Who wants to see something again? And it's okay that you're a little bit off. I'll, I'll realign those a little bit. I was moving fast at the end. This one needs to be a little bit better aligned. Here's the plan. We're, well, we will do a super break slash time to do your UV map. So if you are ants in your pants, need to get out, get out of here, by all means. Um, come back and then definitely get to this point. Before we leave, I wanna get you set up on Photoshop. So we're not done for tonight. Um, I wanna get us coloring or get us started on coloring tonight. Homework is to color and post a work in progress on your color. So I wanna set you guys up for success in Photoshop, give you some pointers on coloring and then get you guys going. But the UV map is way easier than, than the character UV map. There's less parts to deal with, right? Agree? Way easier than 420 UV mapping. Yes? Yes. All right. All right, super break. I'm gonna come around and float around if you need help, but do take a break. Crystal, you can go to the bathroom anytime, man. Is he holding it? He's very intense. I feel bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you want a TMI? No, I can't give you a TMI. Sorry. <laughs> a doctor knew I was a teacher because of my bladder size. Aww. Isn't that crazy? He's like, your, your bladder is enlarged. You must be a teacher. And I went, you're joking, right? He's like, no. And that got on the recording. <laughs>